Hello everyone, it's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer, and a very warm welcome to my channel. Now, I am at the last section of Fee um, from Diamond Art Club. It's um, my final entry for um, Diamond Painting Fanatics Spring Flings and Easter Things. Yeah, it is still spring technically. Um, uh, yeah, which finishes I think next week. So this is, you know, you know, finished well in time. I won't be starting another one. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought you might like to uh, join me while I do the last section. Now I'm going to do it as a time lapse. Um, so it's going to be quite a short video. It's not going to be a whipping chat or anything. Um, but before we start, I kind of wanted to take you through um the uh storage system that I'm using or what I kitted up in because I've, I've actually seen a few videos lately about where people have mentioned this system and they say they don't really like it very much I love it I love it for my diamond art clubs and that storage is the craft mates lockables um so here's the let's actually zoom out for a moment so here's the um you know sort of the outer case i do have two of these um i actually got them from amazon when they were on sale too for the price of one so you know it would be rude not to um so um if you've seen my kitting ups before into these you'll know that i like to kit up in color so you'll see um this one here's this one here's sorry there was a little bit of an interruption there um as i was saying if you have seen me um kit up before into the craftmates lockable you'll know that i like to kit up by color so here for example we've got lots of pinks but this this particular diamond painting has got a lot of pink in it so again more pinks um this one here i've got purples um these missing spaces, these aren't, um, you know, down to the fact that I've run out of drills. It's just there were so many of these colours, they extended over two boxes. You can get tons in these boxes, by the way. Absolutely tons. Um, you know the big diamond art club bags that are stuffed full, the big huge ones that are stuffed full of gems? Uh, you'll get one of those in one of these um, easily um yeah so yeah i like to cut up by color now i think one of the reasons why people don't like them is they don't like the fact that they're all tied to get um fastened together and they also you know find them quite awkward to get the gems out of um i used to use a spoon uh i know that some people do um and then i found that actually to be a wee bit faffy so i just tip them out now but i've kind of um got a little technique that I've, that works quite well so for example uh, let's take this one here oops my little light I'm still working with this little plug-in light anyway um so if you've got one that's kind of full and it's at the corner like this one here you know, if you just tip it out this way you don't need to go over the little latch it kind of makes sense if you think about it so that won't be it doesn't get caught in the little things in the little latch there um i like them because they're really firm and they close up really well i've dropped these on the floor multiple times and they don't bang open um now in the middle um there's a couple of ways i deal with ones in the middle so like this one for example if you just tip it quick it will all tip into the tray uh, i do use quite a big tray i don't think it would work very well with a little tray um and if you do it quick then they're not going to get caught up in the little um latch uh the other way that i can do it is instead of tipping it forwards i'll tip it to the side and then they don't get caught in the little latch so there are a couple of ways of you know 
managed to work out just tipping these in and out of the craft mates locker bowls without using a spoon so i don't know maybe you know people might like to give them a go again but i do like these i, I do like them and I, <clears throat> I use them for my big diamond art club paintings the other thing i quite like about these is if you've got just a small amount in there um, you can they've got quite a wide bottom a quite wide base so if on areas that have got a lot of confetti particularly this is another reason why i like to cut it up with the same colors if you've got an area with a lot of confetti um so say for example <clears throat> lots of different changes of pink what i can do is i can open up all of these and then um i just dip in and pick out the ones that i need maybe you know one of these ones one of these ones so you know if you've just got um you know a, a, a small amount in there they're really easy just to go in and just pick out the odd one or two and if you've got heavy confetti areas <clears throat> if you work you know if you have them all together in the in the same strip then um yeah it works really quite quickly and you can work directly from the pots so that's why i like my craft mates lockables um they are really really easy I, I find them very very easy to work with now as you know they're not everybody's cup of tea but if any of those wee tips that i've got there that i've just given you um makes you want to think you know what i'll maybe try them again um you know it would be uh you know it, it, it'd be good to try them again i do like them <coughs> excuse me <laughs> i don't get anything from them <laughs> Um, but yeah, they are one of my favourite storage systems, particularly for these big diamond art club paintings. Anyway, what we am going to do is I am going to sort of like push them all to the back now. Um, we're going to open up the last section. I'll zoom in, open up the last section of the canvas and put the time lapse on <clears throat> and we will get a finishing fee. Um, as well as my craft mates lockables, it's just a standard large white boat. You get them, you know, you can buy them on Amazon. I think this actually came with a spell queen kit, but you can get big boats easily. <clears throat> my pen is uh, from Diamond Art Studio. It's a lovely green and black one. It's got a four placer on one end, a sink placer on the other. And just a piece of release paper down there at the bottom. Right. So let's zoom in. I'll take the release paper off, zoom in and uh, put the time lapse on. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of colour changes here, but um, yeah, <laughs> but lots of colour blocking. It'll go quick. <laughs> right. I'm on my desk which is quite small but we will attempt to um, unroll her and you can have a look I don't know how much you're going to get to see at the one go so when I work on a big diamond painting uh, what I do is I start at the top go back down to the bottom and uh, yeah I uh, clip it with these little tiny bulldog clips uh, rolling it out the way I just roll it loosely around itself I don't roll it around any sort of like foam roller or anything okay here we have Faye so this is uh, <laughs> this is the top third <laughs> so it is a diamond art club piece do what makes you sparkle there at the top it has 43 colors 
what I'll do is I'll link the unboxing um, video at the end of this. Um, but it's got 43 colours. It has three ABs. The ABs were, or are, uh, let me dig this out. Um, this pink or lavender. Um, this yellow is just absolutely gorgeous. And also, if I can find it, here we go. Um, this lovely green here. So that was our three ABs. I didn't put any enhancements in this painting. Um, I felt that it was going to be fine without. I didn't I want to start interfering. <laughs> there were um, lots of colour blocking areas around the outside. Obviously our skin as well. But um, the wings and in particular the garland on our hair. And also as we get further down. Um, around our top and the, the top of our her skirt or you know area down here and um, there was quite a bit of confetti so a really 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 good mix but yes so that's Faye and it is my final entry for the spring flings and Easter things with the diamond painting fanatics um, what I will do is I will link the canvas down below at Diamond Art Club. It, as far as I'm aware, it is still available. Um, it, if it's, uh, oh gosh, there's a cat at the door. Um, it is still available. Um, if it's not in stock, you can always put a little notification on there for you to be emailed when it comes back in stock. It's 56 by 76 and it is a round. Um, I don't know how long it took, um, basically uh, I started writing down, I used to write down how long things took me but then um, yeah I've, I've, I've stopped, I've stopped. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that one. Uh, what we'll do is we'll turn it on our side and you can maybe see a little bit better. So we'll zoom out a touch and um, there we go. That's maybe a little better. You can, I'm missing a bit of her at the side. Let's see if I can tuck her down, by, tuck that side bit down this side of the... Excuse me, just in case I'm getting my big head in the way. There we go. That's maybe a bit better. There we go. You can maybe see a little bit more there, but how sparkly is she? She is absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can just move things slightly. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, oh, you can see my paint by number there. Um, there we go. And I'll hold this up. I think that might be a little bit better. Yeah, that's better there. You need to, you could have to tilt your head to the side, I think. But that's her in all her beautiful sparkly glory. She is absolutely gorgeous and a really fitting way to finish off um, Diamond Painting Fanatics Spring Flings event. So, um, yes, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Um, I think she's the third Hannah Lynn painting that I've done. It is, you know, Faye is, a, I don't, can't remember whether I mentioned or not, but he is legally licensed to Diamond Art Club uh, from the artist Hannah Lim. Yeah, I think it's my third Hannah Lim I've done, so yeah, lots of black outlining. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I will uh, go away and edit this video now, <laughs> which is a wee bit choppy. Um, and, uh, and yes, I've, I've not really got much to say now. I've, I've kind of I've kind of ran dry. I'm actually really really tired, guys. Um, it's not that late, but work is full on at the moment. 
we're short we're really busy and we're short staffed we've got a few people off with the a dreaded you know what um yeah i'm a bit tired <laughs> well that's it from me and this video um thank you very very much for watching if you have liked what you've seen please hit the thumbs up button and if you would like to subscribe and you haven't done so already if you could please hit the subscribe button as well on your way out it would be very very much appreciated and yeah i'll see you all in my next video guys cheerio